Hello and welcome back to Holly's Garage. Today we'll be making over this gross old sideboard that had been left out on someone's driveway. It was missing a chunk of paint off the top but it was overall in pretty good condition. So I'm going to start by cleaning and sanding this down so let's get started. This is my trusty Dewalt sander and I'm going to go in with 120 grit sandpaper to scuff up the surface so I can get a really good base for the primer. Okay, so I wasn't a fan of the deep wood green, especially on the top of the dresser, so I'm using a mixture of wood filler and water so I can fill in those grains and also that missing spot on the top. It worked out great, but I think I made it a little bit too runny here, so next time I'll probably add less water. So after that dries, I'm going to sand most of it down with a 220 paper and then I'm going to finish off with some hand sanding to make sure I don't um, sand it completely off. Next I went in with my Kills Original Primer. You know I love this stuff, it just makes my life so much easier. I'm going to pay special attention to any exposed wood because we don't want any bleed through. Okay guys, it's time to paint. So today I went in with two Sherwin-Williams paints. One was Greek Villa and the other one was a cream colored mist tint that I got for $7. Um, it's the same mix as the dresser in my last video since I did them at the same time. So if you haven't seen that, then be sure to check it out. I'm using my home right paint gun to apply two layers of paint. I find that this gun gives me such a smooth coat and it saves me a lot of time too. I probably should have been using glasses to do the inside because holy smokes, it was spraying back in my face. This was the first time I had used Sherwin-Williams and just look at that coverage. You can really see the warm tones coming through on top of that primer and it's really durable too. I'm gonna seal in my paint with Bear's Matte Polyurethane and then I just poured it right in with whatever was left in my gun.
So after I do these doors, I'm gonna be finished with painting, I'm gonna let it dry, and then I'm gonna come back the next day to uh, put the doors back on. I picked up this Rust-Oleum metallic paint in the color Antique Brass and you'll see just how pretty this color is and I think it's going to be one of my new favorites. The next day we moved the sideboard into the house and it was so heavy but we did it and I'm going to put on the hardware now and after that we are all done. So if you forgot what it looked like before, then here's a reminder, but just look at that difference. It's so much cleaner, it looks brand new again, and I am so happy with how it turned out. White furniture seems to sell really well in my area, so I was able to sell it within 10 minutes of posting, which is a new record for me. So anyways, that's it for the video guys. Thank you so much for sticking around to the end. Please subscribe if you haven't already and then I will see you in the next one. Okay, bye.